Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the Little Bean and Me podcast channel. My name is Kayleen, I'm your host, and today I am bringing you a short spinning tutorial on how I like to spin fiber on my wheel. This is my beautiful fiber and my wonderful wheel, and I'm going to show you step by step how I get everything set up. So this is a Babe Production double treadle wheel, and you can see it's a bobbin lead wheel, so the drive band goes over the bobbin, and the bobbin is actually what is spinning on the wheel as the flyer moves around. Um, when you're loading this machine, you are actually loading it around the hooks and then through the orifice. Um, there's no slide, it's not a sliding flyer where you can slide rings, it actually has hooks. And here is the tension, I believe this is called Irish tension, where it is over the flyer. Um, there's hardly any tension on this at all. And then here's my orifice hook. So when I'm spinning fine yarn, um, I want to have a good preparation of my fibers. So I like to use combed top because I like a nice smooth yarn and I only fluff it. So I just take the fiber and kind of separate it a little bit from itself so I can cleanly draft. So this is the motion I'm using to draft. And as you can see, I'm only going to be pulling a very small amount of fiber out of the bundle at a time to create my, my single. So here it is, and it's easily draftable from the bundle. So now I'm going to get things set up here, and I'm going to show you how I get started. I take the loose end of my yarn, or my leader cable, and I lay it over the bundle of loose fiber so that I can draft the fibers together so that it will take up into the um, spinning wheel. So I start treadling rather quickly because I like to treadle quickly because I like to have a nice fine yarn. And I pull forward with my right hand and I hold the bundle of fiber with my left hand. So I'm using my index finger and my thumb to pinch the thread as it is spinning. And I keep a tight grasp on the end of it so that none of the spin goes into the bundle. So here's my flyer and my bobbin. Uh, I have loaded it very well. I'm very proud of this little bobbin. And I'm going to show you how quickly I treadle when I'm spinning. So here's my flyer and then here are my feet. So I'm going pretty quickly. You want to have enough spin and spin quickly enough so that you can draft at a consistent pace and put enough twist into your fiber so you can spin the thickness of yarn that you want. So. For me, my aim is something very fine, and so that is what I'm doing. I'm just trying to go as finely and as consistently as possible. That's usually my goal when I'm spinning because I like to refine my technique and try and get a nice feel for the fiber and different types of fiber. So here I've had a break, so I'm going to stop what I'm doing, loosen the end of the fiber, and then I'm going to place it again over my loose fiber bundle and I will start treadling again and just draft together the fibers a little bit from what was what had come off of the fiber bundle and then the rest what is in the fiber bundle. So I'm just trying to draft the fibers together to have a nice seamless transition from the, the breakage. So here you can see the motion that I'm using. It's a very small motion. I'm just using my index finger and my thumb of my right hand to pinch the yarn and keep the spin from traveling at all to the fiber bundle. When you're spinning pretty finely, um, you want to keep a nice tight pinch on that because it's very easy for the tight twist to move into the fiber bundle and it will make it difficult to draft. So here is a nice close-up shot on how my left hand works with the process. So I actually do use my left hand to pinch and actually hold the fibers that are being drafted, you can feel as it moves into the bundle. So I like to hold that and stop it from going too far so I can control exactly where I'm drafting from. And I'm spinning quickly enough to get a nice tight twist on my fine single because the finer your single, the more twist you need to make sure that it holds together. Um, and you want to have enough energy in your single so that when you ply it back on itself or three ply it, that you have a nice balanced yarn when you're finished. So you can see the yarn leaving my hands is always pretty consistent and it has a nice even twist. So here's the opening and closing motion that I have with my hand and you can see here the fine result. I'm very pleased with my progress in spinning and I just wanted to share this technique with you. 
So here is my two ply. If I were to two ply this onto itself, it would be about a lace weight. I didn't have a wrap per inch or a spinner's control card next to me, um, so I couldn't tell you exactly how many wraps per inch this would be, but it looks to me to be about a fine, a nice lace weight. And then for a three ply, this probably would be around a fingering weight, which is about my standard um, spinning. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative, relaxing, uh, meditative, or any of those things. Um, if you have any questions for me, please leave them in the comment section down below or any ideas for other videos that you might like to see, please do so. Uh, if you like this video, please make sure to like it and subscribe if you want to see more videos like it. Uh, if you're not seeing notifications, make sure you hit that notification bell and I will see you guys in my next video.